हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल दिस इज मी मिसेस खुदेजा अहमद टेकिंग अ लेसन अ ट्रूली ब्यूटीफुल माइंड चिल्ड्रन टू बी अ गुड ह्यूमन बीइंग वी नीड टू हैव अ गुड हार्ट एंड दिस कैन ओनली हैपन व्हेन वी स्टार्ट थिंकिंग पॉजिटिवली वन थिंग वी ऑल नो दैट पीपल बिकम फेमस इन देयर लाइफ by doing so great and big things but are all those people very good in their behavior also yes most of them have been famous because of their good deeds recently you must have heard about sonu sood the famous film actor during this pandemic he helped a lot of people he did so good works that he has become famous now and people are talking about him talking about his goodness all the time so to become great is one thing but being great to become a good human being is another thing and some people are born with both these qualities so you must have understood what i am going to teach today today we will study about one such man the famous scientist of the world albert einstein he was a great scientist the title of this chapter a truly beautiful mind refers to albert einstein this is a short biography of his where some of his qualities have been highlighted in this chapter we come across another aspect of his of the scientist what was that that he was a humanitarian that means a lover of peace a man of goodness he advocated world peace advocated means to preach to tell somebody he advocated world peace non violence non violence you understand and that is why the title refers to him as a truly beautiful mind now starting with the chapter albert einstein was born on 14th march 1879 in the german city of ulm without any indication that he was destined for greatness on the contrary his mother thought albert was a freak freak means to disapprove with the statement that albert will be great one day his mother did not believe it to her his head seemed much too large so he was born with a big head at the age of 2 and 1/2 Einstein still wasn't talking. Normally, children start talking at the age of nine months onwards, but in the case of Albert, he didn't talk till the age of two years and a half. That is two years and six months. And when he finally did learn to speak, he uttered everything twice. Means if I am saying, at the age, at the age, this is what he did. Einstein did not know what to do what to do with other children so and his playmates called him boring brother boring so the youngster played by himself that means he was all alone most of the time he especially loved mechanical toys normally children they love to play with toys made of anything but in the case of albert he loved only mechanical toys looking at his newborn sister maza he is said to have said fine but where are her wheels because he thought maza was also a toy a headmaster once told his father that what einstein chose as a profession wouldn't matter because he'll never make a success of anything this was a negative statement which the headmaster told his family einstein began learning to play the violin at the age of 6 because his mother wanted him to he later became a gifted amateur violinist maintaining this skill throughout his 
life. The, so this skill he had in his mind and he learnt it also. But Albert Einstein was not a bad pupil. He went to high school in Munich where Einstein's family had moved when he was only 15 months old and scored good marks in almost every subject. Einstein hated the school's regimentation. Regimentation means too much of law and order. And for this he often clashed with his teachers. Means he had a fight with his teachers. At the age of 15, Einstein felt so stifled there that he left the school for good. He was so fed up of that uh, discipline that he left the school. The previous year, Albert's parents had moved to Milan and left their son with relatives. After prolonged discussion, Einstein got his wish to continue his education in German, German-speaking Switzerland in a city which, were, which was more liberal than Munich. Means uh, discipline was there but not that much of discipline which he hated. Einstein was highly gifted in mathematics and interested in physics and after finishing a school, uh, sorry, after finishing school, he decided to study at a university in Zurich. But science wasn't the only thing that appealed to the dashing young man with a walrus moustache. Now, what is, uh, see here, children, uh, these type of moustaches means here. And this is the moustache. You understand what a moustache? Walrus means uh, pointing both sides. Uh, the uh, moustache pointing downwards. Now students, your duty is to we are going to do only this much part and then you are going to understand what does this mean, what is clashed, then uh, what is um, any other difficult word here? Yes. If there is any and you are, are not able to understand, uh, please go for the word find the dictionary meaning then we'll continue this lesson next in the next turn till then bye bye